Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So one more interesting problem with respect to array and it's very simple. People might ask you at a time of interview, it's quite famous interview question that find out the missing element in the integer array. You have given one array, for example, you have a given a series of like this one, then two, three, four, five, six, let's see up to a hundred. But for example, one number is missing. For example, this four is missing over here. How will you find out that one single element is missing or not? So it's very, very simple. Mathematically, what you can do is, for example, let's go with the small numbers. I have one, then two, then three, and then five, let's see four is missing. So if you include four also, what will happen? One, then two, then three, then four, and then five. But they have given this particular array. So I'll do one thing. I have to find out what is a missing number. So I'll do one thing that, okay, yeah, I'll create this full array, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll try to calculate. So if you calculate one plus two is equal to three, three plus three is equal to six, six plus four, 10, 10 plus five is equal to 15 over here, right? And we know that for this entire series, if you do the sum of the entire series, the formula is like that. N, N plus one is equal divided by two. So if you total number of elements in this particular array five, five plus one is equal to a six divided by two. So what will you get? 30 divided by 2 is equal to, you are getting 15 of the total sum of these elements. And then whatever the given array, I'll try to calculate 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So this is the uh, given array count and this is the, I have calculated separately with this particular function. So let's say this is my function is equal to this from this. So I'll do one thing, I just simple deduct 15 minus 11 is equal to 4. So 4 is the missing number, I can see that. So I can simply say, yeah, 4 is the right answer for this question. And the same formula can be applied for any kind of uh, series, any kind of, if you are given 1 to 100 also, 1 to 1000 also, but it will calculate only one missing number, not two missing or three missing numbers. So let's see how will you write the code for that. It's pretty simple. For this, what I'm exactly I'm going to do that, I'm going to create a, a separate function in the class. And my function is I simply create, for example, uh, public static, this will return an integer. And I'll write that, let's see, find missing number. And this function says that, give me two things. One is you give me the number array, whatever the number array, and give me the total count that how many elements, okay, that you are expecting from that particular array. So I simply say that integer count, for example, let's say if I'm passing one to hundred, but one number is missing. So count will be hundred only, right? Because we don't know which number is missing. So I simply say the series from one to hundred means total number of elements should be there in that array should be hundred. All the one number is missing. So this is compulsory to pass it over here. Then I'll do one thing. I simply create one integer over here. This will be my integer. I simply write, let's see, this is my expected sum. So what is the expected sum? The expected sum is whatever the total count that you are getting. So I'll create this formula n into n multiply um, n plus one divided by two, something like this, I'll create that. So this is the total count, the total number, this will be become, this will become my n over here. And then I total count plus one divided by two. I simply write it like this, right? So I'll do one thing, I'll simple multiply by like this and then put a separate bracket so that we will calculate the calculation separately like this. So n plus one and then divide by two like this we can simple write it. So this will give you what? This will give you the total count according to this formula, whatever the given series number is available. Then I'll start one variable that is called actual. This is my actual sum initially starting with zero. And then I'll do one thing, I'll start a for loop. I can create one for each loop or simple for loop. For example, integer i colon, what is the number? The number is this, the number array. And I'll simple write, I keep adding this, whatever the given number that I'm going to pass, actual sum is equal to, or I can simple write plus is equal to i. That I can do it, right? It means whatever the number that we have given, one, one plus two, two, it will give you three, three plus three is equal to six like that right guys so it will keep adding these numbers whatever the actual numbers they are given so from the array one by one i'll try to fetch it and store inside this actual sum over here so what i have got 
I have got my expected sum and I have got my actual sum and what exactly I'll return and I simply say you return whatever the expected sum minus actual sum as simple as that that's it right so this is a generic method that I have created I'll simply call this method so first I'll do one thing I'll maintain one integer array for example let's say integer a number which is equal to I'm going to maintain something 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 so 4 is missing over here right and when I call this particular function I simply say that find the missing number pass the number and what is the total count of the series the total count of the this series is 5 over here right not this count there are only four elements but we don't know which element is missing so I simply say the total count from 1 to 5 will be 5 only 1 to 100 will be 100 only one number is missing so let's see it is working or not so find missing number will return the missing number and then I'll store a simple n1 is equal to this and let's see I'm going to print n1 over here so it should give you the missing number so I'm going to run it run as Java application so it's giving you 4 over here awesome right I'll do one thing I'll make it 4 <coughs> and then I'll this time I'm making it let's see 2 is missing so let's see what exactly it is returning it's returning 2 over here and then do one thing let's see I'll making it 2 3 4 5 then 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 and then 10 and I'll do one thing that 5 is the missing number over here so what will be the total count will be the total count of the numbers will be 10 because we don't know which is a missing number 1 to 10 I simply assuming that okay there are 10 elements are there okay so this number is compulsory to pass then only we can use this formula okay so let's run it so here we can see the 5 is a missing number when I run this program so right click on it and run as Java application so here you can see the 5 is the missing number over here let's try one more time 5 comma 6 and this time let's see I'm missing number is the last missing number is 10 over here it means between 1 to 10 10 is missing we don't know what is a total count we know that okay in this series total number should be 10 but which number is missing we don't know so let's run it again and let's see it's saying 10 is missing number so it's a very simple program that you can simple write it in the next program I'll tell you in the next video I'll tell you what if you have multiple missing numbers two missing number or three missing numbers in that case we have to use concept of bit set also you can use it so I'll show you in the next video so I hope this is a very clear uh, answer for that people might ask you these kind of questions at a time of interview make sure you are solving it uh, mathematically like that that's all for today guys thank you so much thanks for watching this particular video please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues i'll see you in the next video